Welcome to 60 Second Civics, the daily podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Until 10 days before the Philadelphia Convention adjourned, the delegates assumed that treaty-making power would reside in the Senate. Article 2, Section 2, Clause 2 gave the treaty-making power to the president, subject to the concurrence of two-thirds of the Senate. In 1789, President George Washington appeared before the Senate with Secretary of War Henry Knox to ask questions about treaties with various Indian tribes. The senators referred the questions to committee, rather than debating them in front of President Washington. President Washington thereafter initiated the tradition that all subsequent presidents have followed of communicating with the Senate in writing about treaties. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.